Okay, so I'm back with the Sublime series and in this episode we are going to learn about the bracket highlighter package for the Sublime. With that, I'm your host Sarsak and welcome back to Bitfumes. This is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the Laravel related things. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So let's start the video by just opening a simple file. Okay, so here is our file and you can see lots of codes here and I want to see whether this bracket is closed or not so I can't see anything about the closing bracket yeah I can see the bracket but if this is not like that if it is messed up how I can see yeah it's not cool for that I will just install the bracket highlighter package so for that control shift P install package loading repository that means the list of the packages for sublime here it is I will say bracket highlighter hit enter it's now going to install that bracket highlighter package for our sublime okay and now it's perfectly fine it's downloaded so let's see what it can do for us so yeah, last time we can see how where is the closing bracket. So now here we can see the 52 line has starting of the bracket and 68th line has the closing of bracket. It can detect opening and closing of the bracket. Not only that, it can also detect the tags. So here is the starting div. It can find the closing div here. You can see this tag it says it's a tag it's like that and not even also this it can do better things like I have to go again press ctrl shift P now instead here I will say bracket and here's the list of the bracket highlighter commands you can do so now let's do one thing it's very nice I think you will love this to go highlight Google high visibility mode and when I click here and yep and you can see it just cover just make a border for the elements we have the tag okay so you can see here it's nice it's nice it's even nicer okay so when I click here it just wrap everything inside this closing uh, border and this will very nice if you are going to see where's the closing bracket and where is the everything inside the text okay so these are the very nice thing okay now let's see what happen I if I delete this bracket obviously that thing goes and you have for this bracket a question mark that means it says ah I can't find the closing bracket you probably had has to see this thing okay and now I can close this bracket and it's perfectly fine okay so if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then share this video with your double friend don't forget to follow bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye